so now let's see what is same origin policy right so today browsers enforce that uh, a particular client can only send a request to a resource with the same origin as the client's url and also it checks the protocol port and host name of the client's url should all match the server it requests right so suppose in this example if you see that your application is deployed into http slash slash store dot aws dot com slash dir slash page dot html so it is installed in this store dot aws dot com and the protocol is http then let's say if you make a call to the uh, same http protocol same uh, domain and the different directory then it is same origin because domain is same okay and protocol is same so it will not throw any error but if you check the third one where https is used so here basically we have changed the protocol so client means your browser will throw exception and it will not allow you to make the call okay even if you go to the different port number you see 81 port number here used it will be also failed so this way we secure our browser to make to don't make the call to the different website okay so let's see how exactly we can make a call to the different domain right so that concept is called cross origin resource sharing so cross origin resource sharing or course defines a way for client web application that are loaded in one domain to interact with resources in a different domain so sometimes it is required right that from one domain i can make a call to another domain and that decision business can take okay from my application these are the domains are allowed to make a call so that is something some mechanism is available and why a browser has to stop this kind of uh, you know, call from one domain to another domain is because of the cross site request fraudery uh, issues that were happening so suppose if you logged in to your uh, bank account and your uh, cookie is saved uh, with the authentication details then uh, someone else can use that cookies and they can log into your uh, different account and they can uh, stole some of the data or some of the information or they can do some kind of fraudery uh, fraudery activity right so therefore browser has to stop it so keeping that in mind let's check our uh, use case where we have our client application the react application is running in a local host right and if you see the api call that we are going to make test stable d will be posted to the local host origin however our server is deployed into this or origin it is called amazon aws.com with all the name in the beginning so now if you make a call from local host to directly to .com that will not work so what we will do is we will install a proxy server in our local machine which will change our origin to match with the origin that we have here so what i'll do is i'll install npm package called as http proxy middleware and also axios uh, npm package which will make a http call so let's install it so once installation is done i will create a new file called as setup proxy.js and i need a our domain name so i'll go to uh, the aws console and i will try to quickly test first and once i will test for the cake data i will see that uh, i have re get the successful result and i can copy from here my domain name so you can see the domain and api i have copied here so let's write the code to convert our origin okay so i'll i will uh, first import the http proxy middleware and then i will say that uh, use the test uh, uh, api resource whenever the resource is test then then basically change that origin okay so we will say change origin to true and let's define the proxy make the target as this uh, domain aws amazon aws.com and change the origin to true so now let's go to the app.js file write the method here handle submit and first we will check whether the node environment is development because during development mode only you have a different domain localhost right however once you deploy in production you will be on that domain in the aws domain 
So we will check if it is development domain and our API is test slash stable D. Test is our resource and stable D is method. Then automatically change the local host to Amazon AWS .com domain and the uh, go to that test resource and stable D. Okay. So with these changes, we have fixed the client side to uh, to properly change the URL. Okay, the origin. However, there is one more trick that we have to do and without that you still get the course exception okay CORS exception you will get it I'll show you in our next video how you are getting the course exception and after that I'll show you how we are going to fix it with one more trick so see you in my next video thank you